Hi YouTube, in this video I will be explaining how to wire up a set of three-way switches. Three-way switches are switches that work in pairs to control one light from two different locations. Uh, three-way switches are mainly found in rooms where there's more than one way to access a room. So in the room that I have drawn here, for example, you can enter this room from this doorway and you can enter this room, the same room from this other doorway. So what you have is a three-way switch at one doorway to control the light and you have a three-way switch at the other doorway to control the same light. Both of these three-way switches can control this light. Three-way switches are also found in hallways at each end of a hallway. So at the end of the hallway here, you have a three-way switch so that you can control the light if you were coming from this end of the hallway. At the other end of the hallway, you have a three-way switch so that you can control the light coming from that end of the hallway. Both of these three-way switches control the one light in the hallway. You can also find a three-way switch at the bottom and the top of a flight of stairs or stairway. So you'll have a three-way switch at the bottom of the stairway to control the light going up the stairs and you have a three-way switch at the top of the stairway to control the light going down the stairway. Okay, so let me show you what a three-way switch looks like. This is a three-way switch. Notice that it has two screws of the same color on each side of the switch. So it has this switch. This switch has two gold screws. And notice that it has one black screw. Now, these colors can be different colors depending on the manufacturer. However, all three-way switches will have two screws of one color and one screw of a different color. So, this particular switch has two gold screws, and it has a black screw, and it has this green ground screw. Uh, these two copper screws is where the travelers land. There's a two wires called the travelers that lands on the three-way switch. These copper gold screws here is where the travelers land. And on the single black screw here, this is where the common land, there's a wire in a three-way switch called a common. This is where the common lands. So each three-way switch box will get one common and it will get two travelers in it. So now let's talk about uh, our boxes and pulling our wire. So I've done the most important thing in the video. The most important thing in the video is to turn off the power to the circuit. So I've turned the power off so I don't have to worry about getting electrocuted or shock. So what we have here, we have two switch boxes and a light box. Now we have our two switch boxes and our light box right close to each other because we're making the video. However, in a real situation, this light box or this switch will be at one door leading into a room and this switch will be at a, another door leading into the room and this light will be in the ceiling. Also, if we were dealing with a hallway, this light will be on one end of the hallway, this light will be on the other end of the hallway and this box. Pardon me, this switch will be on one end of the hallway, this switch will be on the other end of the hallway, and this light will be in the ceiling. So, now, let's pull our wire. Now, we're pulling our wire. So, what we're going to do, we're going to pull Romex. This is Romex in this demonstration. So, we'll pull a number 14-2 from our power source to our first switch box. Then we'll pull 14 to, pardon me, 14 3 from switch box to switch box. And then we'll pull 14 2 from this second switch box to the light. So again, 14 2 from the power source to the first switch box, 14 3 from switch box to switch box, and then a 14 2 from the second switch to the light. Okay, 
So, okay. Now, I've already stripped the sheathing off of the Romex to try to save time in the video. So, coming from the power source, we'll pull a piece of 14-2. So, this is 14-2. So, what we have here is... In this 14-2, we'll have our black wire, which will be our hot. We'll have our white wire, which will be our neutral. And we'll have our copper wire, which will be our ground. So you pull 14-2 from the power source. Then you will pull 14-3 from switch to switch. So from the first switch box, where our power source wire is, we'll pull... 14-3. And we'll take the other end of that same 14-3 to our second switch box. Okay. There we have. And then we'll take a 14-2 from our second switch box to our light. Okay. So from our light to our second switch box we'll put 14 to now we're ready to terminate our wires okay well no let's not terminate the wires yet let's make taps in the switch boxes so we'll make taps in our switch boxes so we'll make taps we'll tap our grounds together we'll bring them together we'll take this ground sleeve here this, we call that a ground sleeve here. We'll put both our wires in that ground sleeve and we'll take our cramp tool, hand stay cutting ground tool, and we'll cramp that sleeve on those two wires and we'll twist those two wires together to make sure they have a good connection, okay? We can cut off one of these grounds. You got two ground stems. You can cut one of them off because you only have the one device, okay? So we got our grounds in the first box. We'll do the same in our second box. We'll take our grounds. We'll take a sleeve. We'll slide it over both grounds, like so. And we'll take our crimp tool, stay cutting crimp tool, manual crimp tool. And we'll crimp the grounds together and we'll twine them together to make sure they make good contact. It's very important that they make good contact to make a good ground. We can cut one of the stems off because you'll have two stems. You can cut one off. Okay. So we got our grounds now. Now what we'll do is we'll tap our neutrals. So what we need is we need the neutral to this light non-stop. So what we'll do We'll tap our neutrals together by simply stripping them. Mm -hmm. And we're nutting them together. Because what we want to do, we're sending this white, tapping this white to this white to send the neutral to the second box. Then we'll tap this white to that white to send the white, uh, neutral up to the light. So we'll tap our two whites together. Okay, so we tap the whites together in our first switch box. We'll do the same thing in our second switch box. Okay. okay. And we'll wind up them together. Now, what we did when we tapped the whites together in both switch boxes, what we did is sent the white neutral up to the light. So all we did was we just let the neutral pass through both switches and up to the light. And again, now there's different ways to uh, different taps and configuration you can do. Uh, different ways you can do a three-way switch. You can do it different from this. So now that we tapped our neutrals together, let's go ahead and we can put on our devices. Uh, we can put our light on. We can put on our devices. Let's start with putting on our light. Now, the light that I'm about to use 
is this keyless. And so it's plastic and the box is also plastic. So you don't necessarily need this ground. The only time you need the ground is when you are terminating something metal and you want to prevent that metal from being energized. So let's just cut this ground short to keep it out of the way. We don't want it coming in contact with these two screws here. Well, we're going to terminate our black and our white. If it comes in contact with these screws, specifically this gold copper screw, it'll trip the circuit or blow the fuse. So what we're going to do, we're going to land our white wire on this silver screw, and we're going to land our black wire on this gold screw. So the silver screw is for our white neutral, and the gold screw is for our black hot wire. Here we go. All right, so this one, I'll start with our neutral. We'll strip it. We'll make a loop. We'll hook it around our silver screw, the white around the silver, and we'll tighten down, okay? Then we'll do the same thing with our black hot wire. Let's strip it. We'll make a loop. We'll put it around the gold screw. And we'll tighten down. Okay, so now we'll put our light, install it. Okay, so our light is installed. Let's put our light bulb in. So, now we have our light installed. Now we're ready to install our switches. Everything's in place and we're ready to install switches. So what you have is you have a black and a red in one piece of sheathing, in one piece of Romex. That black and that red in that one piece of sheathing, in that one piece of Romex, they will represent your travelers. In both boxes, the black and the red in the same piece of sheathing represent your travelers. Now, the black that's in the other sheathing, the black that's in the other sheathing represent your common. So what you have is this common in this box is coming straight from the panel. That's called your hot feed common. This common that's coming from the light is called your switch lead common. So you got, there again, you got your hot feet coming and switch leg coming. Your hot coming in one box, your switch leg in the other box. Now, we're ready to terminate on our switches. Now, it's very important that the travelers go here and the common go here. If they get crisscrossed, they get crisscrossed, um, then... The, the three-way switch won't always work properly. So we got to make sure we land our common here and our treble here. Now, it doesn't make a difference which common lands where as long as both commons land on these two copper screws. So let's start with this switch. All right, so let's start with our ground. Put our ground on the green screw. Now, this bell copper can also be a green wire, but in the video here, it is bell copper. And another thing I want to show you is I could strip these and I can make a hook like I did with ground, or I can insert, if it's number 14, there are some tiny holes on the back of the switch. I can actually insert the wire in these two these little holes in the back of the switch and the wire will be terminated. So I'm gonna do that just to save time in the video. So I'll strip my hot and I'll insert it in the tiny hole on the back like that. So it's there and terminated. Then I'll strip my two travelers and do the same thing. Strip my two travelers.
okay? And do the same thing. Rather than make the hook, I can insert the wire right into those little tiny holes on the back. So now we're ready to install this particular switch. Now we got to be careful because you don't want this bare copper wire coming in contact with these screws, any of these screws, because if this copper wire comes in contact with any of these screws, it'll trip the circuit breaker. So you want to keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carefully put this switch in, keeping that bare copper wire out of harm's way so that it won't trip the circuit. Okay, I got my drill here. Speed up the process. Okay. Okay. So we got our first switch in. Let's put our cover on it. So we got our first three-way installed. Now, let's install our second three-way switch. Now again, let's start with the ground. I like doing the ground first. So there's a rule about the ground. It should be the first to make, meaning the first to terminate and the last to break. So it should be the first to terminate and the last to determinate if you were taking it loose, okay? So, so okay. So let's terminate it first. All right. Make our loop, we'll make our hook, terminate our ground. Now, now again, you want to make sure you don't get the two travelers mixed up with the common. You know you got the two black wires, it's easy to do. So, the travelers, again, will be in the same sheathing. They'll be in the same sheathing. And the uh, common will be in a different uh, sheathing. All right, so I'll strip my comb and I'll stole my comb. I'll insert it into the back of the hole. Then I'll do the same with my two traveler wires here. And strip. And I'll insert them into these tiny holes on the back side. Now, this three-way switch is ready to install in the box. Now, again, you want to make sure you keep that copper wire out of the way of the... Uh, you want to keep the copper wire from touching any of the screws because if it do, again, it'll trip the circuit breaker. So I got my drill to speed up the uh, process here. That one that one now let's put our cover on put our cover on this one mm -hmm. that one on Now, put that one on. Now, we're ready to turn on the circuit and try it out. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. Now, the light is already on. So, I should be able to flip these switches either way and turn that light off. So, I turned it off. It, if I was at going in one doorway, going out the other doorway, I can hit this switch and turn it back on. If I'm leaving or coming into the room, or leaving the room, I could turn it off. Coming back into the room, turn it on. At the bottom of the stairwell, turn it off. At the top of the stairwell, turn it on. At the end of one, one I was at the end of one hallway, turn it on. At the end of the hallway, turn it off. So that is how you would install a set of three-way switches. Uh, oh, one other thing I want to show you here. If you need it to control a light from three different locations. Now you need to control it from three different locations. Maybe it's three ways to enter the room. Maybe you have a special landing on a flight of stairs where you can go into a different area. 
Now then, that's when the, let me turn this off. A four-way switch is introduced. A four-way switch work between two three-way switches so that you can then control a light from three different locations or multiple locations because you can install a number of four-way switches in between two three-way switches. So the four-way switch is to control a light from three or more locations and the three-way is to control a light from just two locations. We'll cover four-way switches in a later video. I hope you found this video useful and I thank you for watching.